everybody, Allison here, and in today's video, we are going to talk about how to potentially trade this volatile week. Now, this is a strategy that I have been trading a lot throughout this year. It is something that I know I've talked about quite a bit in the options room, as well as the Profit Recycling Mastery, but I think it will be super beneficial for what we have going on this week. Um, and this strategy is called the Compound Butterfly Strategy. It's a class I've taught here at Simpler. And it's ways that you can combine different types of butterflies to have a high probability win. And so from that class and that strategy, I've specifically been doing uh, trades where I've been putting on both call and put broken wing butterflies with the idea that I am uncertain about which way the direction will go, but I know that there is a good chance that the move will be volatile. And so by setting up the trade this way, I can have the market go higher off the CPI and Fed. I could have the market go lower off the CPI and Fed. It doesn't really matter which way it goes, as long as there's a good chance that there's one, that high probability of volatility, which is likely this week, and two, if the underlying price can get into my strike. So let me just kind of walk through one of the trades that I have set up for this week and something you can consider putting on for yourself in your own account. As I mentioned, usually around these announcements, we have a lot of volatility that can occur. Just off the last time Powell spoke um, a couple weeks ago, we had over a 141 point range within the market. So we can typically anticipate a volatile move. Now, sometimes these moves have been to the upside like last time. Sometimes we have seen it just fall apart to the downside. Either way, it doesn't really matter which way it goes with this strategy as long as the market moves itself. So let me pull up my option chain here with SPX and walk through the strategy that I've done a lot this year to help play these volatile moves without having to be too stressed about picking the correct direction. And so as you can see here with my tasty works, overall, there we go, overall, um, you can go out to this week's expiration. And the idea is to look on both the call and put side for what I call, like to call a broken debit wing butterfly, where the idea is the debit spread is wider than the credit spread. And the thought process is if we get a strong bounce up, there's a good chance we could go at or in the money on these strikes. And so by choosing the correct levels that seem obtainable for the underlying price, as well as controlling the overall risk, it can set up for a really great risk versus reward. So in this case, I have the call broken wing butterfly at 4070, 4085, 4095. When we go back to the charts here, we can see those levels are right by the upper Bollinger Band. It's right by the prior highs that we had around 4100 and the gap fill that we did actually fill, um, but that level's around 4083. So the thought process is if we do get a strong bounce off this move, hitting those levels seems very likely, potentially going past them could also be possible. With a debit broken wing butterfly, with the way it's set up, the max profit potential occurs on the pin strike itself. So in this case here for the trade that I currently hold, the current cost basis going into the close today was $1.80. The max profit potential on this is 13.20 with a 15 10 point spread. So certainly not a bad risk versus reward. If it goes completely in the money, it still cash settles for the spread width difference in this case of $5. So five minus $1.80 still allows me about a 3.20 profit potential. Certainly not a bad risk versus reward. But keep in mind, we have no idea which direction this is going to go. So. I also have a broken wing debit butterfly set up on the put side. Um, and mind you, I did open this trade Friday, so we have moved a little bit since then. But I still like the levels overall for the news coming up. In this case, my put spread is currently worth about $1.15. Um, so because we have one set up on both sides, we need to take into consideration the cost on both trades. If I were to have opened this at the close of market using these same strikes, I would have paid around $1.80 for the call spread and around $1.15 for the put spread. In total, that would have cost me about a $2.95 cost basis. What this does is if I get the pen, it still allows for an overall max profit potential 
of about 12.05, meaning if I were to, let's say, get a volatile move to the downside and we pin at 38.25 on Friday, it completely covers the risk on the call spread, which would be worthless, and still nets me a very nice profit when taking into consideration the put spread as well. If we find ourselves going completely in the money one direction where it's a super volatile move and it just doesn't come back, right? It blows past our levels. Well, then we would still see a cash settlement of one of the two butterflies be worth $5. Five minus 295 would be a 205 cost basis. So once again, not a bad risk versus reward and it covers the risk on the other side. Sometimes what can be really fun about this strategy though is that you every now and then get the opportunity to take profits on both sides. Um, a great example of this is actually back here. So on this day, it was a Fed news day and we had a strong rip up in the market and it allowed us to take profits on the call side. The next day, the market gapped down and completely gave up any gain that it made and actually closed at lower lows. And in turn, it allowed me to close the profit on the put side. So sometimes these volatile moves, especially when they're back to back like this with the CPI and the Fed data, can actually benefit you in taking a profit on both sides of this strategy. But even if it just moves in one direction and keeps going, I know I still have that potential of profit just off the call side or off the put side individually. Um, so with that being said, I typically don't like to spend more than $3 myself on a broken wing butterfly like this where the spread width difference is $2. That way, if it goes completely in the money, I still know I get about a $2 profit. So you wanna be mindful of how much you're paying, of course, make sure that one, it is always within your risk tolerance, but two, it still gives you a profit um, and covers the risk completely on the other side if you go completely in the money. So I, this has been a very useful strategy for me this year, and I think it's certainly beneficial to hold through tomorrow with the CPI, or even if you don't have this on for tomorrow, you could still look to put it on to hold through the Fed news that's going to happen on Wednesday. As always, may the trade be with you, my fellow Jedis. I look forward to talking to you next time, and we'll see how this data plays out. Bye. Hey, Allison Ostrander here, Director of Risk Tolerance at Simpler Trading. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and comment down below to help us out. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you can get notified when we release our next video. And if you want to watch us trade in real time using our own money, go to simplertrading.com to learn how to sign up. As always, may the trade be with you, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.